right, everybody, I got a rare one here for you, a Beretta 93R machine pistol. This was a weapon that Beretta made for a very short period of time, approximately 1979 to 1993. And it's a true machine pistol. It's based on the 92 series pistol, but then they went ahead and made it into a machine pistol format. It's got a lot of unique features. A separate safety from a fire selector. You notice back here, this safety is what is engaged in order to make the gun go bang. Up here, what you would consider to be a thumb safety on a weapon like a 1911 is actually the selector. You have one dot for semi-auto and you flip it down. Now it's in three shot burst mode. There's no fully automatic. Essentially it's semi-auto or three shot burst. And that's probably a good thing because it has a cyclic rate of fire of 1100 rounds a minute. This is the detachable shoulder stock. Very easy to detach and take off. Also, it's very easy to put on. Slide it back on, flip the lever forward and it's locked back into place. One of the unique features about the gun has a real angular slide. Also, it has this foregrip which pivots down around 45 degrees and tucks up underneath the frame. You bring it down and then you notice the trigger guard is elongated. That's to allow your thumb to slide through. This particular one has little vents for compensation. We'll see how well it works because I'm about ready to go live with this for the first time ever. I kind of search the world over, as you guys know, for watching my videos on this channel to fire rare and unusual fully automatic small arms. The 93R is kind of on that list. This is the first time for me, kind of a bucket list moment. Here we go. Full auto. Okay, after the first few bursts, I got some initial impressions. One, there's a fair amount of rise here. Part of the reason for it is, is there's no way to get any kind of a cheek or a chin weld here. Even if I got down on top of this thing in a chin weld format, I'm still well below the sights. Now you have a little bit of a flat surface here, so if you had one of these and you mount a Picatinny rail, you could put an aim point micro on it, but you would have to build up some kind of a cheek weld system back here in order to get behind the red dot. Also, you know, I'll be honest, we have shot a fair amount of automatic weapons, and I don't know that this is 1,100 rounds a minute. The good news is I think it's on the lower side of that. All right, time to go hot again. Now, one thing I noticed just handling the gun, the magazine is on this side as you would traditionally use it for a right-handed pistol shooter, let's say on like a Beretta 92, but with this detachable buttstock in place, it makes it difficult to get around. But for a lefty now, I'm gonna push it with my trigger finger and it makes life a lot easier. So in a lot of ways, that's a plus, especially when you have a 20 round magazine like this, it makes it easier to get in and out of the gun. The machine pistol was a fairly short-lived concept. It was for special operations units, SWAT teams, CT teams and whatnot, and also dignitary protection. The problem is when you enter guns like the MP5K, let's say with a side folding buttstock, it's not quite as compact as a machine pistol, but it's a much more effective weapon and it's a much better weapon to shoot and get hits on target with. Nonetheless, extremely well made piece of kit and a lot of fun to shoot, typical Beretta quality. Time for me to load some more mags and get back at it. We'll see you later. Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.